Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Indianapolis, Indiana with the frauditor known as Indy Public Audits as he attempts to do an audit on a government building but only ends up being kicked out fairly quickly and he complains about his rights being violated because of it. Oh poor little guy, did you not know there are rules to certain buildings once you enter them? Or are you just one of these thick-headed moronic uh, uh, frauditors that just think that they can get away with anything they want? Yeah, you're one of those guys, aren't you? But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, guys? It's your, it's your boy, Indie Public Audits, back again with another video. Oh, come on. Now you frauditors need to stop imitating these bigger frauditors and uh, get out of their shadow. Create your own slogans or sayings or whatever and make it original, something that will recognize you as your own person. Until you can do that, you're nothing. Many, many minutes later. How you doing today? I'm about to. You know, my moronic uh, frauditor friend, you are pretty much off to a bad start right here because a more seasoned frauditor like dumbass Elmo would already be complaining about his Fourth Amendment rights being violated at this uh, checkpoint right here. But he doesn't have a leg to stand on, so let's continue on with this uh, dumbass right here. So yeah, now that we got that back started back up, this is the city county building down here in Indianapolis, Indiana, here off Washington Street. We have our information center here. The sheriff's office is a restricted area. Well, this moron just walks around for a few minutes filming in areas other than the police department and eventually wanders into an area that most certainly has a sign that says no cell phones allowed. But does that stop him? No, he continues on and that's where the trouble begins. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. It's going from over here. Oh, just coming around, looking around. How you doing today? So you got the gun permit processing here. Where are you getting out? Come here and get your gun. Your gun. Uh, tripping up all my words. Come here and get the process started for your gun license. Well, I can understand why there would be no cell phones allowed in this particular office here, dumbass. Because, well, there would be private information 
being talked about in this particular area that uh, you are not privy to and you know in some states uh, that can be considered a wiretapping violation and some frauditors have been put away for that so you might want to be careful of what your state does in that uh, area Unconstitutional song right here. Same old frauditor line, but you guys never have the cojones to take it all the way to the Supreme Court and get these signs removed from every building. You just won't do it because that won't fit your narrative. Not to mention that we have the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. Maybe you should uh, be reading the Constitution instead of uh, listening to all these uh, frauditors who have no idea what they're talking about to begin with. Yes. The accident and incident reports, firearm records, they got this on everywhere. Why is that? Why is that? You cannot record it you cannot have cell phones. Why is that? You want to call the police on me? That's fine. We don't got to know each other. Call the police on me. Oh, they called the police. So let's just go ahead and skip ahead to when the cops show up and see how they deal with this particular moron. Let's roll that clip, shall we? I'm just recording. And I'm good with that. I think we just did a lot of self recording in the film. That's unconstitutional, though. It's not when there's uh, documents that are confidential and everything. That's, that's, up, that's up to them to make sure that stuff stays private and covered. Uh, when are you frauditors actually going to come up with some original argument for this uh, particular situation? Because it's never going to work out for you in that particular scenario. Because if they push it back into the further into the room, then uh, you're going to want to go back there and do, uh, push your way further in. You know, give a inch, take a mile kind of thing. So the way this works out is that they are protecting the information by t taking dumbasses like you and tossing them out of the building. So that way, the confidential information is protected and everybody's happy, except for the dumbass frauditor, of course. It's not up to me. This is a public it's building. You can't trespass, you can't trespass. Yes, it is. This is not a Actually, public building? No, it's not. No, it's a privately owned building. Is it? Yes. Yep. By who? By building authorities. So, who, who does building authority go through? Building authority runs, runs the building out to the city. So right. Technically, it's a, it's a privately so, owned building that is being utilized by the city. Exactly. So, therefore, it has public access. It does have public access. However, there are places that are considered restricted to certain uses of cell phone. Devices. So, if anybody can walk in here, like she can, and I just did, mm -hmm. what, what makes the difference? Because you're recording. You can't trespass with the eyes can see. Oh, oh, but they can trespass your uh, body and your eyes will go with it right out the door. And yes, you can be trespassed from a public and private building, government or non-government. You need to stop with this uh, frauditor boot licking and learn the laws and how things work. It's not so cut and dry as you think it is, dummy. There was no cell phone That's an unconstitutional sign. It doesn't have to be a constitutional sign. Yes, it does. It can't any anything that goes against my constitutional rights is null and void. Not when you're in a public or a private place. You just said it's public. It's a private place. If I can walk in here, that means it's public. No. No, you can walk into a store, that's private property. Yeah. That's private property, right. Yeah. But you they can kick you out at any point. But this isn't private property. 
Yeah. If it's leased, if it's leased to the city, that means it has public access points. Owned by the building authority. Which but it's leased company. through the city, so it has public. He just said it. That's what he just said. A store is leased too. The property a store is on. A store, a store, a store is a store is private property. Period. So it's not leased to anybody. It's just private property. Since they're renting, the building authority can override. If you are leasing this building to the public. It has public access, like I just said. I just walked in here, mm -hmm. so therefore, so when you rent an apartment, isn't that the same? That's thing? private. Okay, is that the same thing? But and what I do in my home, you too, and they can still, they can still evict you. Yeah, but we y'all speaking about private property, period. This is public. This is a public building. Least to least to the public, right? But. Uh, that's beyond the point. The point is that you're not allowed to record in here. Based off There's a sign? sign that, that's posted that states that. Which is unconstitutional. No. Okay, well, sue them then. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not here to sue anybody. Sure. Well, you're going to have to leave the building. That's what we're here. Or are you going to arrest me? If we yeah, for trespass, here. we ask you to leave. If you don't leave, that's trespass. But I'm in a public building. You can't that's trespass right. me yes, from a public building. No, you can, I have to, commit a, I have to commit a crime first. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. Oh boy, you are not a very bright one, are you? I mean, the whole property laws thing right there was just a bunch of BS you were spe spewing out of your damn pie hole, and let alone the tre uh, BS about uh, the about trespassing, which you got out of the fraudulent handbook. So, dude, you really need to get educated on every subject that you just talked about right there, because you just scored an F on everything. No, yes, no. you do. That's how trespassing works. Trespassing no. is a secondary offense. Look it up. Trespassing is a secondary offense. If you don't go, that is a pri that's private property. We just told you this is private property. We're not going to. You tell just you said again. it was leased to well, the yes, public. Leased. Still here's, private here's property owned by thing. someone else. Yes, you can be trespassed from the building. Now, I have to commit a crime. For hour period, no. Yes. Asking you to leave is us asking you, you can't, to go. Well, if you do not if it's go, public, I don't have to leave. To you leave. If, if, if it's public, private. I gotta leave. This is private property. We told you four times. Now. So now you, we can walk out. Come on, let's walk out. All right. What's your name, Badge Number? Canope. Three one seven eighty. Yours. Courier. Four eighty eight. And yours. Three forty four. You said who? Harris. Three forty four. All right. What's your name? I don't get the information out. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So I'm kicked out of quote unquote private property. But this is public out here. Nope. Yes, it is. You're, you're down in the building for me. No, I'm here for We're services. Here I'm here for services. What's this here for? I'm going, well, I don't have to tell you that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I do not. No, I do not. In the building, you do have to say. No, I do not. You do. I don't. You do. Can y'all back up? No. Because you look like you're about to touch me. Right to the right. No, you do so not. we don't get okay. to use the rights of the Constitution, but you do? No, not on duty. I have no idea where you got that BS from. Their constitutional rights are not waived when they are on duty, you freaking moron. I mean, they have. They are citizens, and they have the rights of every citizen in this country when even when they have that uniform on you total nimrod why not on duty because you you I'm guys are held you guys are held to a higher standard i'm human being you guys are held to a higher standard right held to uphold the constitution right which we you're violating the same abide we can still abide by the but you're violating my, my constitutional rights right now okay well sue sue the city okay yep. i bet that's what you want me to do right I don't care. I don't work for the city. Sue the city. Sue the county. And I'm going to attach you to the lawsuit. Okay. You do that. I'm going kicked out of a public building. I'll be back. Okay. I'm going to come back on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. Private property. They happy to kick me out. You go out this door or this door, whichever one you like. 
private property, right? And if I don't leave, y'all gonna arrest building, me? Please. You gonna arrest me? Out of the building, please. You gonna arrest me if I don't leave? If you don't leave, sure. We trust that. Okay. How? Have a good you don't day, even sir. know who I am. Have a good day. Go I'll be please. back. Yeah, I don't think you'll be back anytime soon. I mean, yeah, I just got trespassed out of that building because, you know, you thought you knew everything and you thought you knew better than those cops did. Well, come to find out, you are a total imbecile just like any other frauditor out there. So why don't you just go ahead and try to sue and see how far that takes you. Oh, do you even have the money to file a lawsuit at any rate? No? Well, uh, yeah, so you're pretty much stuck either way. You don't have a leg to stand on, so you pretty much have nothing at this point to sue about because uh, ignorance is no excuse of the law. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.